Speaker Brynth, the High Speaker, has the situation under control. Under control? The station is in ruins. What is your query? That this is unacceptable. If Uzjax won't aid the injured, then we will. Please! A Skarden? Here? Does the High Speaker know? That is not your concern. We do as he commands. Learn if you have more queries. Outlanders, this is the realm of the machine. And I am the High Speaker! And who is this? Brynth? <laughs> I almost forgot I sent you away. I have been busy addressing our greatest problem. The Awakening Machine. What distractions have you brought before me this time, Brynth? These Outlanders crashed on our shores. I have no time for your misadventures. High Speaker, the Nerubians. Enough! Outlanders, you may wander where you will. But when you are done, return from whence you came. The High Speaker has spoken! Awakening machine is what recharges the earthen. Yes, but it has been broken for millennia. That is why our numbers are dwindling. May your cogs hold. Moira, please continue speaking to the citizens here. Outlander, I'd like your help with this cobalt problem. Look at this mess. Beaten back and battered with nothing to show for it. As expected, I suppose. I We're engineers and crafters, not soldiers. Thankfully, Outlander, we have you. Let's scout the mines. Kinderkin is crazy! Forcing kobolds into war, but many want peace. Candle King? Perhaps we face a common foe. You'll be back. Considering theory, if we depose this Candle King, then perhaps the raids on Gundergaz will cease. And that all the race had you of that quality of Erex. That was certainly an exhaustive list. I would never have imagined all the uses of mammals' waxy secretions. You take key from Cogturer. And destroy the rigs he stole. They could spell disaster for Gundergaz. Conversation terminated. We'll meet you on the inside. Good to be free, but attack from front is bad idea. Think I not see what you do in my mind? Run round, steal candle, kill kobold. Snoot, snout! Leave new friends, early mantle present, and close door behind! We not entertain today. Candle King is cruel, but very strong. Too strong to attack like this. Fresh your kobolds and warrants, then no need Candle King! 
It seems I underestimated the problem. And you, Skitter. At least you took action, Stormhead. That better than other Earthen. Prince and Skitter find a good place to set up. Flare out! <laughs> Kobold built great city. Big towers. Lots of room. Many jobs, too. Candle making, wax harvest, scrap salvage. Many! Used to be happy place. Now bullies and fear everywhere. Yep, now we deal with bullies, so Warrens can be free. And Reed swapped his beard polish for cinder brew. Lit up like a magma vent, he did. <laughs> Not think Stormheads have humor, but you're pretty funny. I will end contemplating mayhem. Mixing the cinder brew with candle wax should yield pyrotechnic results. Candle King Rick, Bullies Rick, just one thing left to do. My candle, not lit. Now get too close to Cobalts. Sneak in, take back Crown. Just Dark. Dark can't hurt you if you keep light inside. Not too big to be scared of Dark, was he? What is that? The candle's melted. We go deeper. Just ahead. Almost there. Quick! Grab key! Take crown! Yes! Crown symbol of hope! Candle King, no take it from us! Now we escape! Let's go! I am sorry for what has happened to your people. I understand what it feels like to watch your home slip away. At least we're friends now, yes? Not all is doom. More friends means less doom. The Candle King may still hold power, Skitter, but your people have a home in Gundergaz. We help new friends. Many hands make light work. We will s Sometimes diplomacy means stirring the pot. Let's see what bubbles up. I see Speaker Brinth has returned. As long as she knows her place and does her job, we'll allow her to resume her work. Are we preparing for more Nerubian attacks? Earth and above us have fought that battle, and we've recovered from our own minor raid. Why haven't we heard more about Taylock? We're currently investigating. You would be wise to avoid that distant destination. The number of working machinists is insufficient. All the more reason to rest all the more. No further questions. Return to your assigned duties. Praise the High Speaker. I'll speak with the Council in Dornagol. They need to hear about this. In the meantime, I want to investigate Taylor. Something about those missing shipments. I'm coming with you, lad. Brynth! We'll be back soon. Intruders, the beasts inside. Did he just... shut down? Oh. Why are all these creatures here? What happened? This isn't one of your books, lad. Watch your step. This looks like the foreman's office. But where's the foreman? If they want answers, We'll just have to look for them. Where are all the people? What happened to everybody? These mugs are still full, and the drinks look fresh. But there's no one around. I think people were here recently. Fewer workers, it would seem. Is it because the earthen are shutting down? Shutting down? Or disappearing? 
Or... changing? The answer lies in the clues. That's... a lot of names. Everywhere we go, we find the names of people lost. A lot of tools are still here. So the workers can't all be out in the mines. Did you hear something, Granda? Sounded like another deep flare. Let's move on. It's changing. It's changing. What was that? It came from that building. Enough knocking, champion! We're breaking this thing down! It's changing. It's changing! Whoever you are, get in here! We heard you! We're here to help! What's happening to them? A scarred in transformation and progress. Fascinating. Stay back, lad! <laughs> Get away from him! Granda! That surge of energy! The Spartan's reaction! How did you do that? I don't know. We'll figure it out later. I can hear more coming. Workers of Taylock, as your foreman, I have met with the High Speaker in secret. The outcome was not what I expected. I have been altered, perhaps even chosen. Change is coming, workers. Hordes of Skarden stir within the Hall of Awakening. Taylock could be next. Barricade your doors, but be not afraid. We will press on. Can you hear it? The ringing. The ringing. It returns. The music is eternal. The itching. I can taste the sounds. Revelation awaits. The ringing. The ringing. We'll lock away deepest cavern for darkest memory. Don't speak ringing. Don't let them destroy. Make sure Foreman's last entry mentioned a cavern. It must be nearby. This looks like the right place. I don't see any signs of the foreman. We need to take a closer look. Wait. I can hear wind blowing. From beyond the stone. It must have been a controlled cave-in. Champion, help us destroy the blockage! Is that... the foreman? You were right, lad. Come on! We can't let that thing get out of this cave! Infection! We were... too late. How many times... Have I been too late? Wait, Granda. Look in the water. I think that's a memory gem. That gem must contain the foreman's memories. You speak the truth? 
Your artifact will repair the Awakening Machine? It will perfect the machine. Your struggle, your suffering, will be at an end. All will awaken. Because of you. Because of me? Your people will be restored. Reborn. Improved. And they will laud you as their savior. Yes. Yes. Infection! I read about this. I'll contemplate what we talked about. When the world Zalatar gave the high We have to tell Brynth! Hurry! We'll ensure your name. Enough talking. The High Speaker will answer for his crimes. To the Earthen Works. Moira informed us of the situation. We're ready to help. That we require a Foreman's key to access the Hall of Awakening. That'll be... I can see how worried you are about Dagrin. Uh, I've got a lot to make up for. For a long time, I knew I needed to protect Azeroth. I gave up a lot. I gave up too much. I should have spent more time protecting you and Dagrin. Dagrin's been through a lot too. I know. I want to be here for him as his granda. I wasn't responsible enough. That needs to change. I've spent too many years listening to Azeroth's voice. I'm glad I can listen to yours now. Aye, Father. We'll figure it out together. Keep us up for Shani's. Brynth, I don't know what to believe anymore. My efficiency is impaired. Take my access key. Never did like the High Speaker's pomposity. Directive, the High Speaker must be stopped. Regroup with Moira. I'll head for the Hall of Awakening. You dare challenge the will of the High Speaker? Suffer for your work delay. Let's see how brave you are when your protective shield is gone. Slag and rust! This isn't over. The High Speaker will hear of this. We've caught up to him. Champion, take him out. I'll guard their ear. Must get away. Yourself, champion. The enemy advances. Looks like Varric's machine is still usable. Use that mechanical contraption to blast them to scrap. Well done. Now let's regroup ahead. Brynth is already inside the Hall of Awakening. Let's move. I can hardly believe it. This place dates back to the time of the Titans. Time for that later, Dagrin. With a fight in our hands. High Speaker Eirik refuses your entry. High Speaker will. I'll get the door. We're near a stone vault. That's where the dormant earthen are stored. I can't. 
And if those earthen awake in this garden. Get those doors open, lad. I can't. I'm fast. This configuration? I've read about this. I'm out of range. I need to run. I've got it. We can proceed. So many Skarden. If only we'd known about them sooner. So you're relentless, vindictive, and misguided. Perhaps my golems can show you the error of your ways. I'll be damned if I let Bryn's people be turned into monsters. This room seems different. Do the walls seem older to you? I've seen rooms like this before. There's Titan machinery in here. Outside the Earth and rebuilt the machines. But the oldest ones remain unchanged. It is time to step down, High Speaker. Everyone knows what you've done. What I've done? Saved us all? I have found a path to our salvation. You would have us all live as Skarden? Better to live as a Skarden than die as an Earthen. It is done! Now, with this power, all Earthen shall awaken. <laughs> them all. Oh. It's over. Granda, you can stop this. I've seen you wield Azeroth's gift. It's you. You're the only one who can save them. Whoever 
you want to be. Let's get the high speaker has ruled for as long as any of us can remember. But he's no longer one of us. Well, sounds like you need a new high speaker. And Brynth, you're the right earthen for the job. Me? Elaborate. You cared for your people like no one else has. Not by commanding, but by understanding. Then you know I will leave it to my people to decide. Something tells me they already have. Honor Guard, reporting for duty. If you'll accept the position. I... accept. I am the High Speaker. So, now that you've... changed, how do you feel? I feel... humbled. Like I've carried a burden for a long time. Like I've finally been forgiven. I've had debts to pay. Forgiveness shouldn't be easy. When I was much younger, we clashed a lot. Some things... Well... There were things I couldn't forgive you for. When you were in your other state, I at least knew you were learning. I didn't want to forgive you. And I didn't want you to forget what you've done. What you did. What changed your mind? Well, watching you in Dagrin. He sees you differently than I do. He sees who you've become. You're here for him. Alas, my old life. I can't live my life that way. I. You need to be here and do right. For both of us. You can see how much you mean to Dagrin. I understand. I've changed, and my life has changed. I don't want to live in the past. I want our family to have a future. Then I'm glad we still have our future. Onward and upward. On to the next adventure. <laughs>